So let's talk about our text and our images lining up and being able to see everything. So a lot of times as uh, students are building a Google Slides presentation, they really like a very busy background or very busy pictures to go with it. And sometimes it's difficult for the teacher or anybody that they're presenting it to to be able to read the content that they have put on top of these really busy images. So one way to combat that would be to build a shape to sit behind the words in order to provide a background so that you can read the words. To do that, we're going to grab a shape and we're going to draw it the size that we need it to be around our words. Now, when you first draw the shape, it is the newest thing on your canvas. So it's pretty much sitting on top of anything else that's there. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to arrange it. You can do this by going to the Arrange tab and clicking on Order, and you can send it to the back. You can also do the same thing by doing a two-finger tap or a right-click on the shape, and you can find order there as well. So now you can see we can read the text very well, but we've covered up the picture in the background, and sometimes that really bothers our students. So we can also rearrange it a little bit by creating a transparent effect on our shape. So we're going to highlight the shape, go up to the fill color, and I'm going to go ahead and change this to this brown color that I've been using throughout this slide. And it's still, you know, very solid. It's hard to see through. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to click on custom. And when I get into the custom color tab, not only can I choose any color whatsoever that I want, but I also have a transparency slider that I can take and I can slide the transparency down. And let's click OK. So now I can read the words and I can also still see the images that are behind this shape. I'm also going to choose the border color and make it transparent so you can see what we have there. Another option or an additional option is to take these words and put them in a font that's a little thicker. This one is going to match the early explorers up there. And you can make the font a little thicker and sometimes that makes it easier to read as well. So there are a couple options so that your students can keep the background image that they want and then you as the teacher can still read and be able to look at their slides.